Coach, uh, just kind of talk about that UCLA game and the crowd and just how electrifying it was. I mean, how, how fun was that for you guys? It was a lot of fun. Um, you know, we were expecting a big crowd, and uh, that definitely exceeded it, actually. You know, we thought that we might have five or 6,000, but to get almost 9,000 people was a great surprise. And, you know, I think uh, a lot of the freshmen came out and were, were just uh, – you know, so excited that uh, sporting events at Cal Poly uh, are like that. So it was, a, it was a good thing to be part of. You know, obviously UCLA is a storied program and um, easy to get up for them. Uh, we wish we would have uh, tucked away a game winner, but overall I thought it was a very good game. You know, back before the season started, you said you it'd be good to go 500 after this tough stretch in the beginning. I mean, here you guys are 2-2-1. Two, two and one. Mm -hmm. Are you pleased with where you guys are right now, you know, now that you guys are back home as well? Yes. Yes, we are. You know, um, you know, we went to Denver Air Force, and, uh, you know, after that good initial win at Denver, uh, they've gone on a, a winning streak. They haven't lost since that time. Um, you know, we feel like the loss at Air Force in overtime was, was the, one, the one loss that we, we wish we could have gotten a better result, of course. Um, to go to Indiana, uh, to beat Indiana um, was huge. And then, um, you know, Notre Dame will end up being a, a sweet 16 team, without a doubt, in my opinion. They're, they're that good. Um, so this was an important game, but these next two cru are, are crucial. You know, these are the two games that we need to, we need to win. You know, we need to go into conference 4-2-1, uh, and one, um, and that would be ideal. Ideal way our RPI would be in a good spot, and we'd be uh, riding some momentum. Talk about LMU, um, not only Bernardi's old school, but just kind of talk about the kind of team they have and what challenges they'll present. They have a very, uh, very good team. <clears throat> they were an NCAA playoff team last year. Um, they were selected to or predicted to win the, the West Coast Conference. Um, they are. Uh, they have a very special player, one special player, uh, Rafa Baca, that I feel is, is one of the better players in the country that we have to really – do a good job and contain and then limit his effect on the game. Um, besides that, it's just a very honest, hardworking team. Um, so uh, you know they're they're coming here and they're going to be very hungry. I know they lost their last game. They're going to be very hungry. So we expect just a, just a battle. Hey, coach. Uh, I know you're happy with the two-two and one start. Uh, I, you know, I noticed that the goals are still kind of few and far between. What can you do to uh, generate some more offense here? I think we need to make better decisions. You know, um, we are we are we're creating shots, but they're not they're not fantastic shots. Uh, I think we need to be more patient in our build up and, and pass the ball better. Um, you know, that's that's one thing in soccer. You know, you can you you know the professional teams pay millions and millions of dollars for the guys that have the that moment of composure and the ability to put the ball in the back of the net. And uh, in college. Um, you know the game is such a such a fast pace um, that you know sometimes you need to uh, you know uh, move the ball an extra pass or two to find the right opening and not just any shot. And I think right now we're I mean we I think against UCLA we had 22 shots to their 11, but if you go back on the video, you know probably you know only six or seven of them were really quality shots, and we need to generate more of those uh, through our passing and our movement and our, our decision making. Getting back to the, uh, the the crowd the other night, uh, what does that say about the university? I mean, no disrespect to UCLA or anything like, but it wasn't UCSB. You know, they were ranked 17th. They're not the defending national champs. Obviously, a great program, but I mean, to draw that type of people, that that many people for for a game, early season, I, mean, it, I think it says something about this program, doesn't it? I, I think it says something about the program. I think it says something about the university. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's we're, we're in such a unique. Um, college town, you know, um, the community loves Cal Poly. You know, we are um, a big part of, um, of, of young families, kids coming out. Um, you know, how many schools where you can just walk down the hill, drop down into your stadium, you know, in a five-minute walk like that? You know, it's it's a really unique environment. It's it's made for this type of uh, event and these sports. And uh, I think we need to need to keep. Um, developing our school spirit and our, our athletic school spirit here because it could be very special.